guys welcome back to our channel in the face wild hog hunting so cow cow reached out to us about um reviewing a product that is some uh rubber boots they got an assortment of different kind of rubber boots hunting boots snake boots uh dock boots but they sent these out to us uh cow cow every step is trustworthy we're gonna find out we're gonna see if that's true or not but um let's take a look at these Cow cow inserts. We got a pull tab on them. And a kick bump for taking them off. Pretty nice tread. Check that out. Pretty good tread right there. And again, take a look at the logo right here, cow cow. So one thing whenever I'm going and I'm checking out trying to buy some new boots for hunting or just out here like we are at our shooting range right now on our property is looking at the seams on the boots making sure that they're put together well because this is a two part whenever you have the top part that's molded and you have the bottom part where they glue it together you just want to make sure that the seams are glued together really well do inspections on those making sure like I said this boot is really flexible. And it's 50% neoprene and 50% rubber. So we're going to see how that works out in the elements. And it's, they say it's well insulated. And you also can pull out. It's not too bad right here. They say you might want to get a different one over time. But yeah, it's all together, it seems to be a pretty good boot, but we're going to try them on we done had a lot of water down here lately so we're gonna try these on walk through some water see how it does and everything and go from there all right taking these inserts off and get ready to try these on make sure there's nothing else in the boot That's something I'm seeing already I like is look at the water beating up on the boots. It's like it's a scotch guard kind of sprayed on the boots. You can see the water beating up and running off. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Let's see if we can find a deeper mud puddle. I'm gonna keep burning them down. Yeah. Biggest thing, there's no leaks right now. Don't feel any water coming in boots. But again, look at that. The water's just beating up and coming off, so. That's pretty good. That tread. This real malleable, like I say, they they're able to move and stretch with you as you move. So that's really good. Yeah. So far, so good. Once we get them out in the woods, 
out on a nice hog hunt, but it's like this creating a barrier around the boot, man. It's really nice. I'm pretty sure over time it'll wear off, but as of right now, it's pretty good. something slippery <laughs> oh yeah So far, I give Cow Cow two thumbs up all day. These big cone tracks. I'm gonna get ready to shoot a few rounds real quick out here at the range. you guys we're gonna have a uh, link in the description for a discount code and uh, like I say just check that out but you guys thanks for the support and everything you guys have shown us to um, in the face wild hog hunting we got more content for you guys coming up you guys just stay tuned stick with us and we love you guys thank you very very much and again cow cow boots all day we highly endorse thank you very much like my other ones that are those snake boots is really tough. Like uh they're stiff, they're so stiff. Oh yeah. 
So do I recommend these boots? Yes. So again, you guys stay watching with us. We'll, you know, this just right out the box. Once we put some more wear and tear on them, we'll let you guys know what we find out. Ease. See, that tab right there works really good. Look at that. Sock is 100% dry on the left. That tab works out really well. Sock is 100% dry on the right. Again, Cow Cow, you guys check this out. We're gonna have a link in the uh, description below. You guys should be able to see that. Post it on this video for a discount on these boots. But again, Thank you guys for watching our channel, In The Face Wild Hog Hunting.